Hi, I'm Francis Buckley, Grammy Award winning recording engineer and producer. And today I'm here to introduce the new Francis Buckley Equator sound abatement panels. Now, they call them the FBE sound abatement panels, but I'm more partial to the form name. You know, I've been in the audio business for a long time, and I've been in the finest recording studios in the world. And I have also been witness to the transition from commercial recording studios to home studios. And the biggest problem I find in home studios is people forget that the room is 50% of the equation. They go to the store and they buy all this cool gear and they put it in and they call me up and they say, hey, how come my mixes don't sound in the room like I want them to sound? I come over to the studio and what do I find? They haven't done anything to the room at all. Now you have to do something to the room. You have to control the reflections in the room. The smaller the room, the more important it is to control those reflections. Now in my studio, I have standard two foot by four foot panels. These are standard size. And the reason it's a standard size is because that's the basic size that the fiberglass piece comes in. Now, when we started designing panels, one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to get away from the fiberglass because fiberglass is carcinogenic, which means it puts out chemicals into the air that you breathe. I wanted to take advantage of the new, greener, environmentally friendly materials that's out there. And what we came up with, we came up with this. This is cotton batting. This is actually made from recycled blue jeans. So there's some, you know, some history in here somewhere. But actually, the real advantage of this is that, number one, it's not fiberglass, so it's not carcinogenic. And two, the biggest reason is because it's actually more efficient at stopping the reflections than is fiberglass. So when Equator sent me the first panel, a prototype, they sent me this panel, which was one foot by two foot. And I thought, well, that's kind of nice for a prototype, but it really needs to be two foot by four foot. But I started to put it up on the wall and kind of place it in where I wanted it to go. And it dawned on me that this is actually the perfect size because my head is only this big. And the spot that I'm trying to cure the reflection on is not very big. So why do I have four feet of fiberglass when I don't really need it? So this is actually a much nicer configuration for small studios. So let me show you a few ways that we can hang this up on the wall and take advantage of its small size. All right, so I've got the one foot by two foot panel right in the spot where the sound comes off the speaker, hits the wall, and bounces into my listening area, thereby curing the one area of reflection that I really need to cure, and I don't need the extra three feet of panel, right? So it also gave me a little extra wall space to hang a, another uh, award. Now, you can get all the information, specs, pricing, everything on the website. Just go to equatoraudio.com get them while they're hot.